we're showing the double E Solus accumulator. Um, we're supplying a basic double E unwinder as in the customer's application they have their own unwind. Immediately after the unwind there's an in-feed drive roller with a nip roll. This is what we're looking at here. You can see the black rubber nip and below it the drive roller. In this shot we're showing the servo motor and gearbox. Both of the motors on this device, on the accumulator are servo. Here the accumulator is shown with the upper carriage in the maximum position stirring approximately 212 feet of material. We start out in normal running and then stop the unwind as if the splice were to be performed. Now the unwind has stopped. Now you see the upper carriage start to come down to lower to dispense material to the process. This running speed is actually 60 feet per minute. Throughout its process coming down, the, ex the amount of material still stored in the accumulator is displayed live on the touch panel. The speed of the carriage coming down is governed by the amount of tension and the speed of the main machine. Were the main machine running faster, the carriage would come down faster. The upper carriage is shown in the zero position, so there's effectively zero material in the accumulator. We're going to set it to move to the webbing position. Now you can see the upper carriage has moved down and you can see straight through for an easy web path. After the material is webbed, the accumulator can be set to accumulate whatever material is required whether the machine is running or not. Now we've simulated that the splice has been completed and the unwind is enabled again with the drive roller pulling material off of it and you can now see the accumulator starting to fill again. If at this time the operator decided he didn't want to put as much material in it as last time, he can on the fly change the amount of material storage in the accumulator upper carriage will act accordingly. At the outfeed end of the machine there is a dancer loaded with a precision air regulator that controls the outfeed tension. In our case we have a small double E rewinder pulling the material from the machine. In practice the machine, the accumulator will dispense into a tenter frame and then into a coder. The purpose of an accumulator is to store material so one section of the process can be stopped while the rest of the process continues to run. This accumulator is the model 200. It can store up to 200 feet of material and has a maximum dispensing speed of 160 feet per minute. Dispensing speed is determined by the amount of material stored and the required stop time. Used in the textile industry, this accumulator provides sufficient web storage for an unwind to be stopped while an unwind splice is completed by an industrial sewing machine. The double E Solus accumulator has several features that set it apart from other accumulators currently available. The first is ease of operation with one button control. Position one is run. The accumulator fills while the process runs normally. Position two stops and holds the infeed drive roller while the stored material is dispensed back to the process. When ready to run again, the operator simply switches back to position one. The second is air-loaded dancer tension control. On the outfeed side of the machine, there is an air-loaded dancer which sets the tension and controls the tension throughout the machine when running or stopped. Feature three is complete and accurate tension control throughout running, accumulated, and dispensing. This is important as there's no change in tension 
whether the machine is dispensing material, filling with material, or simply steady state running. Feature four is a motorized dispensing carriage controlled by position and tension. The upper moving carriage is motorized through a gearbox so that it's possible for us to control not only the tension but also know the position and set the position at any time while running. Feature five is we have the ability to set the actual speed that the material is dispensed and accumulated. Feature six is the ability to set the amount of material stored. Depending upon the length of the splice time, the operator can set the amount of material to be stored. The feature seven is two settable position alarms to notify the operator when the stored material is becoming low. This could be used to set off a light or as the material becomes extremely low to stop the parent machine. Feature eight is a threading position which brings the upper carriage to a position where the rollers for the upper carriage are actually below the rollers for the lower carriage. What this does is allow a straight through web path so it's easy to web the machine. The double E Solus accumulator has a unique ability to set the carriage motor asleep when it's not being used. We have a feature in the drive settings so in normal case running when the machine is not dispensing material the drive will shut off and not use any power. And lastly, there is a touch panel for controlling all of the features on the machine.